Welcome to the first episode of our thermal expansion block spotlight, I think we'll probably call it, something like that. I don't know. But we'll start off with the redstone furnace, then move on to the pulverizer, then move on to the sawmill. Click on the machine you would like to see first. If not, stay tuned and we'll cover all three. Alright, this will be where I will be doing my tests. To start off, how to craft the redstone furnace. You need to make a tin gear made like such. Tin can be found not quite surface but not very far in. Then with the tin gear, iron ingots, and glass you make your first machine frame. This is a basic one. If you make a machine out of a different frame such as the hardened, reinforced, or resonant, it will become that tier. Next you'll need a copper gear made as such. Copper can be found on the surface the redstone reception coil which is a coil made with gold there's two other kinds there is the transmission and the conductance made with silver and electrum they're made the same way but this is for the one or the furnace and bricks which you put clay in a furnace you get bricks out and you put them together and you make our brick out and they make bricks. Now combine everything together in this pattern to get the basic machine for the redstone furnace. Now the redstone furnace runs on RF so you'll need to have power. I'm using a creative energy cell and ender IO to transmit them. Uh, the conduits tutorial will be out when they are done. They're still in development. Now the way this works is very simple it works as a furnace. So if I get myself some sand, I can get myself some glass. There. One piece of glass. And anything else is the same. Now, if I get a pork chop, if I get a pork chop, food cooks much quicker in these. So you do get an advantage with that. The main advantage I find is the configuration allowing you to auto eject and input from different sides with the next machine. So we'll be back for the pulverizer. Alright, the next machine we'll be going over is the pulverizer. To start, you need to make tin gears, made like so. You need to take the tin gears with glass and iron, make yourself a basic machine frame. That'll make your frame. Any frame you use, it'll make it that tier of machine. Then you need to make copper gears, a reception coil, that's a coil made with gold, and a piston. Combine two gears with two flint together in this pattern, and you'll get a basic pulverizer. Right. So, pulverizers will double your ore. So if you put ore in, you can get double the yield and also a chance to get something else. So I have set orange as the upgrade. Now this is blue, this is red, this is yellow. If you set it to orange, it encompasses both of these. So you get the primary and the secondary output. So if I set the input to the right side, there you go. I've just automated smelting. Seriously, that simple. Both these machines are very simple to make and you get automated smelting. Pulverizing, uh, it works similar to the mass raiders that you may be familiar with. They produce sand from cobble, have a chance to get gravel as well. If you have NEI installed, I believe it requires NEI. You can just click on the processing arrow for almost any machine in most mods and you will gain information on what you can do with them. Wood can be turned into sawdust, bone into more bone meal than normal a large variety of different recipes, a lot of them involving ore doubling. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you get a pulverized obsidian, which is very important for later game. There's many different other recipes as well, but that's basically the pulverizer in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, so I will be back when we are ready for the sawmill. All right, and now for the last machine in our basic machines, the sawmill. It's a machine that I personally do not use that often, but it is definitely useful in its own right. 
So we start off the same as always, we make a tin gear, iron and glass to make a basic machine frame. Remember, if you use a different machine frame, higher tier, the machine itself will be higher tier and more upgrade slots. Then you want to make a copper gear, a redstone reception coil, and an iron axe. If I need to show you this, you should probably not bother with mods quite yet. You still have a bit to learn, which there's no problem with. Now you combine them like so to make yourself your basic sawmill. <sighs> that one's still re resonant. Alright, so, put it down. Now, this looks very similar to the pulverizer, and as a matter of fact, it works very the same. Except instead of processing ore, it processes wood. That's an interesting sound effect. So, it processes the wood. Why is this acting funny? Ah, okay, you can output to crafting tables. Didn't know that. As you can see, for each piece of wood you grind, you gained six planks, not four, and one sawdust. Now, sawdust, you normally like sweep it under your desk or something, or under your workbench, eventually vacuum it up with a shop vac or something, you never touch it. Not in Minecraft, no. Four with a bucket of water gets you two paper. You don't even need to bother with reeds. If you have a tree farm, you get wood, and paper. Okay, but I don't really need paper. Well, what would I use paper for? I'm not using Thomcraft or anything like that. I, I don't need it. That's fine. Eight sawdust makes a compressed sawdust. Fill your compressed sawdust into a furnace, maybe even the redstone furnace, and you get charcoal out of it. So you're getting planks and charcoal out of logs. So, I believe that will... It's an awful sound. I believe that covers the basic machines. Keep in mind that all these machines work the same way in that if you make them with different frames or upgrade them, which we'll go through in a later video, that they be increase the amount of augmentations they can get. By default you get those three. Breadstone circuit, in my opinion, is the least useful. You can normally switch that out for a increased speed upgrade. So I believe that'll be the first episode of our thermal expansion tutorial series. We will go into more advanced machines, but I think next we will go into the igneous extruder, the oculus, ocu, aqueous accumulator, and the glacial precipitator. God, those are hard to say. That'll be Team Murder, and this is Sand, signing out.